My beloved child, have you ever had someone in your life who treated you terribly, only for them to come crawling back with regret written all over their face? It's absurd, right? Today, I'm diving into the mind-bending reality where those who once abused you now absurdly feel the weight of their own actions, the sleepless nights, and the haunting memories that now plague their conscience. Buckle up because we're about to unravel the unexpected twists and turns of regret. A journey of pain, redemption, revelation, and the powerful lessons we can all learn from someone's profound regret. Before moving forward, affirm your belief in God by commenting yes. Keep in mind our existence is influenced by what we receive, but the true meaning of life lies in what we give. A humble $40 contribution can offer sustenance for a child for several days. Are you ready? Someone from your past, or maybe a particular person, treated you poorly and dismissed you as insignificant. Now, they are in complete shock and disbelief as they witness your extraordinary transformation. Some of you have already experienced profound change, while others are still undergoing it. They never expected this. They completely underestimated and undervalued you, their ignorance and arrogance blinding them. They felt superior to you, but now they're astonished to see the real you. They admire your strength, self-transformation, and the powerful individual you've become. Like the mythical phoenix, you have risen from the ashes, perhaps multiple times. Your transformation is so astonishing that people can't believe what they're seeing. They were wrong to think you were just a joke. Now, they see the truth. They witness your incredible strength and beauty. They are utterly stunned by what you have revealed about yourself. Someone may have treated you like garbage, dismissing you and leaving you for dead. They completely disregarded you, thinking you were insignificant. Now, they are completely taken aback. They may have tried to ruin your honor and your life. They might have drained your energy, time, sanity, or even your money. They could have gone to great lengths to damage your relationships with loved ones. All of this was driven by jealousy. They envied what you had because they couldn't create it for themselves. Dishonest and deceitful, they would stop at nothing to get what they wanted. Their jealousy stemmed from their inability to create such abundance. The fact that you had anything at all made them envious. They believed that if they couldn't have it, you shouldn't either. They thought they could take whatever you owned without asking. They saw dragging you through the mud, ruining your life, and stealing from you as acceptable. They justified their terrible actions by claiming an inherent right to everything you had. Imagine someone with a large collection. This person's ulterior motives began long before you even met them. They may have schemed to trick you into giving up your money or something valuable. They needed your validation and admiration to sustain their ego. In reality, they always depended on you. They took from others to gain stability and resources because they couldn't create these for themselves. Their low energy and destructive behaviors caused constant turmoil in their lives. They can't maintain stable relationships and have a deep disdain for authority. They would do anything to undermine you. They pretended to cooperate to get what they wanted, all while planning to destroy your hard work. This situation was part of a soul contract, testing your resilience against significant challenges. Your true strength has been revealed. After recovering from their theft, you have shown your ability to rebuild and even surpass what was lost. Your rising vibrations open up greater opportunities for wealth and support from the universe. Because of your kindness and unwavering values, the universe is set to reward you abundantly tenfold for what was taken. The universe has noted your integrity and has seen how you were mistreated. Despite their arrogance and deceit, they failed to understand life's lessons. Their attempts to deceive you and escape consequences were futile. They remain stuck in their patterns while you thrive. This is a significant achievement and transformation for you. Spirit says it has strengthened your heart. Learning to recognize your worth and set boundaries is crucial. Compassionate empaths often put others first, 
but it's essential to prioritize yourself as well. Setting healthy limits and practicing self-love are not selfish. They're vital for your growth and strength. While you have grown from this experience, those who caused harm remain stagnant in their toxic behaviors. You encountered them to learn and grow from these challenges. You represent their deepest fear. Your transformation goes beyond just overcoming their mistreatment. It's about surpassing what they thought you could achieve. You now appreciate and recognize your own strengths. This challenging journey has fortified you, making you stronger and more resilient. The world now sees you in a brighter light than ever before. In their eyes, anyone who reveals their true self is a threat. They focus on undermining you, often enlisting other narcissists or flying monkeys, those who do their bidding with promises of affection or approval, attacking those who expose their real nature. The more they mistreated you, the more they tried to sabotage your life or place blame on you. People will come to understand the extent of the mistreatment you endured both during and after your relationship with them. If they witnessed your struggles, they would corner you to tarnish your reputation and protect themselves. Some people have spoken out, but defending yourself with honesty is more crucial than seeking revenge. Engaging too deeply in their drama only pulls you further into their toxic web. Dealing with narcissists demands emotional stability, which is challenging but necessary. Continue to speak up, even if they try to intimidate you into silence or incite others against you. Their attempts to bring you down have failed because they miscalculated your strength and resilience. You have persevered despite their fears. The universe always watches over you, and you embody powerful qualities like love, honesty, and strength. Despite their deceit and manipulation, you remain truthful. The challenges you faced only made you stronger and more resilient, refining you into someone who is less susceptible to deception. You now thrive, whereas before, you barely survived. Many of you use your experiences to support others in similar situations, showcasing a renewed clarity and strength. Your integrity and understanding define you. They used gaslighting and manipulation to obscure their true intentions, but your warmth and trust made them realize they underestimated you. By seeing through their deceit, you detached yourself from their lies with intelligence and perseverance. Their inflated self-esteem led them to believe they were superior, but their reality crumbled in the face of your genuine brightness. You overcame the weight of their burdens, which once felt unbearable. You managed to free yourself from their control, even when it seemed impossible. Your instincts and voice guided you through, and although you may have once dismissed these feelings, reality has revealed the truth. Love and the universe recognize the unjust restrictions placed upon you, but you conquered every challenge, finding inner strength and freedom. The difficult path you endured strengthened you. They expected you to carry their burdens and blamed you for their own failures, leaving you feeling like a captive. But you broke free from those chains, navigating your path with hope and determination. Your departure surprised them as they believed their intimidation and fear tactics had kept you under their control. Your unexpected escape demonstrated the power you gained by seeing through their treachery. Your game awareness was hidden until you were safe. Do not seek revenge. Instead, show your independence and speak the truth when necessary. You may not yet feel ready, but you've defended yourself with strength and wisdom. Your genuine warmth and light misunderstood by them, have revealed their true colors. Despite their attempts to deceive, you've outwitted them and protected yourself and others. Your metamorphosis is evident, and they now see through their own illusions. Your strength, wisdom, and honesty unsettle others not because you intend to harm them, but because your power is profound and not easily understood. Despite your enthusiasm and energy, Many misinterpreted your generosity as a sign of weakness. They tried to overwhelm you by putting too much pressure on you and creating chaos to disrupt your balance. This turmoil made you feel unstable and fearful of the unknown, distracting you from recognizing your own value. 
Their goal was to obscure their dependence on you and your exceptional growth. They admired your kindness and honesty, but sought to exploit them. When you loved yourself, accepted their reality, and established healthy boundaries, they were taken aback and frustrated. They had tried to confine you and obscure your vision, expecting you to serve them endlessly. However, the blindfold is now removed, and new sources of joy and support, such as a new friend or a loyal companion, may help restore your faith. As your prayers are answered, the truth becomes clear. Despite their attempts to limit your perspective and undermine your strength, you have discovered your worth. Your intuition and inner voice have developed despite their deceit and manipulation. Their arrogance and abusive behavior have been revealed. You observed their hostility and mental instability as their true nature came to light. Being freed from responsibility for their actions has been liberating. The consequences of their actions have come back to them. They are now facing the fallout from their own behavior. They may have seized your belongings, but they soon fell into financial trouble and significant debt. Their dishonest practices, including theft and manipulation, have not brought them the success they hoped for. Their efforts to claim that you owe them or blame you for their misfortunes are misguided. They fail to build a solid foundation or achieve success on their own, and their rage at your departure led to their own downfall. After the breakup, they may have continued to harass or threaten you through various channels, but these actions are a reflection of their own guilt and instability. They may attempt to manipulate and blackmail you by threatening to expose sensitive information or fabricate lies. If you give in, they will concoct absurd stories to profit from you disregarding rational arguments to discredit you and maintain control. Despite their attempts to undermine you, staying calm and ignoring their chaos is crucial. Their goal is to protect their own reputation and cover up their mistakes. Your growth despite their obstacles is significant. Recognizing your own abilities and remaining focused on your goals is more important than engaging in their drama. Their efforts to tarnish your reputation won't deter you. Through perseverance, you will find joy, laughter, and fulfillment. This journey requires you to believe in the boundless possibilities before you. With unwavering commitment, you can overcome great challenges and attract divine provision to realize your dreams and elevate your spirit. As each new day begins, embrace the opportunities and trials that come your way with faith and determination. Equip yourself with spiritual strength knowing that your divine guardian is always by your side, offering support and guidance. Whether in moments of darkness, heat, or storm, you can rely on this divine presence to be a guiding light and a comforting force. Your royal lord's favor is predestined, bringing blessings that nourish and fulfill you. Trust that as a child of God, you will prevail in every challenge. By being content with your daily needs and quietly trusting in your Divine Shepherd, you will see your financial needs, spiritual aspirations, and loved one's happiness fulfilled, all under Divine Guidance. My love for you is infinite, unwavering, and boundless. Romans 8 verses 38 to 39 reminds us that nothing neither death nor life nor any power or force can separate us from God's love through Christ Jesus our Lord. Let this verse be a testament to my enduring and unconditional love for you, a love that remains steadfast through every trial and challenge. May this reassurance give you hope and strength, no matter how difficult the journey. Just as a sailboat navigates through turbulent waters with determination, let your faith guide you through hardships. Trust that you will not falter and lean on my promises. Remember, Hebrews 13 verse 5 assures us I will never leave you nor forsake you. Let this promise be your anchor in storms, guiding you through each struggle and into a brighter future. You are never alone. I will always be with you, guiding and protecting you. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 encourages us to trust in the Lord wholeheartedly knowing that my love for you is boundless and my commitment to your well-being is unwavering. 
I am here to offer guidance and support. Trust in me, and you will find success and security. When faced with challenges, remember that I am your refuge, a source of peace and unconditional love. I will always be by your side, never judging, but always offering comfort and help. Turn to me with your worries, and I will keep my promises to you. As you continue to read and reflect on these words, let their promise of love and support resonate in your heart. Despite any hardships or criticism from others, know that my protection and love are constant. Your dedication to our relationship and your perseverance are deeply valued. Keep trusting and moving forward, and you will be blessed. If you're new to our channel, consider subscribing so you don't miss future messages. Your support and blessings will be returned to you. I hope to see you in the next video. Think of the sun shining above a big, open field. Just like the sun is always there in the sky, giving light and warmth every day, God is always with us. Even when clouds cover the sun, we know it's still there. In the same way, even when we face hard times and can't see Him, God stands by us. He's always there, just like the sun shining above. Today, let us explore the unshakable presence of God in our lives. Understanding His guidance, drawing strength from Him, and learning how to live in the light of His unwavering love and support. I am also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. My friends, in Isaiah 41 verse 10, we are reassured, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. These words are a powerful reminder of God's constant presence and protection. Just as the sun's rays reach out to touch the earth, God's hand is always extended to us, offering strength, guidance, and a steadfast presence in every moment of our lives. With this divine assurance, let us explore the depths of God's ever-present support. Exploring how His unchanging love and strength are our constant companions on this journey of life. Now, let us seek to understand the dynamics of God's presence. God's presence in our lives is an ever-present, life-sustaining force, much like the air we breathe. Invisible to our eyes, yet absolutely essential for our existence. The scripture in Acts 17 verse 28 highlights this truth, for in Him we live and move and have our being. This profound declaration reminds us that our very existence, every movement, and the essence of our being are deeply intertwined with the presence of God. It's a presence that doesn't fluctuate or diminish. It's constant, unwavering, and always available. We may not always perceive it through our physical senses, but it's as real and vital as the air that we depend on every second of the day. This divine presence goes beyond mere existence. It is the source of our strength, our joy, and our peace. In every challenge we face, God is there, upholding us with His righteous right hand. In moments of joy, His presence amplifies our happiness, reminding us of His everlasting love and care. In times of sorrow or uncertainty, His presence provides comfort and assurance, a reminder that we are never alone, never forgotten. God's presence is not just a backdrop in our lives, it is active and dynamic. It interacts with our lives, shaping our journeys and guiding our paths. It's in the quiet whispers of our hearts, the sudden insights during prayer, the unexpected blessings that brighten our days, and the strength we find in moments of weakness. And every step we take, God is there, walking alongside us. His presence is a constant reminder of His unending love and faithfulness. As we grow in our faith and deepen our relationship with God, our awareness of His presence becomes more profound. We start to recognize His hand in the intricate details of our lives, seeing His work in the beauty around us, in the people we meet, and in the situations we encounter. This awareness brings a deeper sense of peace and contentment, knowing that in every moment of our existence, we are surrounded by the loving, sustaining presence of God. So, how about God's presence in difficult times? In the midst of life's toughest struggles, when the weight of the world seems to bear down on us, it's easy to feel isolated and overwhelmed. The challenges we face can cloud our vision, making us feel as if we are wandering alone in an endless night. Yet, it's precisely in these hard times that God's presence becomes most tangible. Psalm 23 verses 4-5 to offers profound comfort, saying, 
yeah? Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. These words paint a picture of a protective shepherd guiding and guarding his flock. Similarly, God walks beside us, his presence a reassuring touch in times of fear and doubt. He is the steady hand that guides us, the comforting voice that quiets our anxieties, and the unwavering light that shines through our darkest hours. His presence transforms our valleys of shadows into journeys of hope and resilience. He doesn't promise a life free from difficulty, but he assures us of his constant companionship and support through every trial. This divine companionship is a beacon of hope, reminding us that no night is too dark for his light to penetrate and no journey is so treacherous that his hand cannot guide us through. God's presence in our difficulties is not only a source of comfort, but also a wellspring of strength. In moments of weakness, when our own strength seems to fail us, his power is made perfect. My friends, the struggles we encounter can often be the very catalysts that deepen our reliance on God, drawing us closer to him. As we lean into his strength, we find an unexplainable peace and resilience that carry us through. This peace does not come from the absence of trouble, but from the knowledge that God is with us in every circumstance. His strength becomes our shield, his wisdom our guide, and his love our sustaining force. Furthermore, God's presence in hard times shapes our character and refines our faith. Just as gold is purified through fire, our faith is strengthened and refined through the challenges we face. Each trial presents an opportunity for growth, a chance to develop a deeper trust in God's plans and purposes for our lives. These experiences teach us patience, endurance, and hope, molding us into stronger, more compassionate individuals. As we walk through these valleys hand in hand with God, we emerge not only unharmed, but also enriched, carrying with us a testimony of His faithfulness and a renewed spirit of resilience and hope. Next, let us look at recognizing God's guidance. God's guidance in our lives often manifests in ways that are quiet and unassuming, yet their impact is profound and unmistakable. Similar to a gentle breeze that we feel subtly yet surely, this guidance can come in various forms. Through the words of scripture, the leading of the Holy Spirit, the counsel of a trusted friend, or even through the quiet stirrings of our hearts. Proverbs 3 verse 6 instructs us, In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. This scripture speaks of a partnership with God, where our acknowledgement of his sovereignty opens the doors to his guidance. It's about trusting in his comprehensive plan, even when the road ahead isn't clear to our eyes. Recognizing God's guidance in our lives requires an attuned sense of spiritual awareness. Similar to learning a new language, the language of divine communication. Often, God's guidance is revealed not through dramatic or spectacular events, but in the quiet, seemingly ordinary moments of our daily lives. It might be found in the consistent themes that emerge in our daily devotions, the quiet conviction felt during prayer, or the unexpected words of wisdom from someone we meet. These instances, though small, carry with them the profound weight of God's direction. Proverbs 3 verse 6 is not just an encouragement, but a directive to actively involve God in all aspects of our lives. By doing so, we open ourselves to the myriad of ways in which He can guide us. Also, recognizing God's guidance involves an element of patience and waiting. Unlike the instant communication that we've grown accustomed to in our digital age, discerning God's will and direction often requires us to pause and wait. It's in these periods of waiting that our faith is both tested and strengthened. It's important during these times to remain steadfast in prayer and anchored in the Word of God. As we wait, our spiritual ears become more attuned to His voice and our ability to discern His guidance improves. This waiting is an active engagement in seeking God's will, remaining open to His timing and methods. God's guidance often aligns with the gifts and talents He has bestowed upon us. These abilities, though they may seem natural or innate to us, are divine blessings designed to lead us towards God's purpose for our lives. When we use these gifts in service to others and to glorify God, we often find that His guidance becomes clearer. The intersection of our passions, talents, and opportunities to serve can be a powerful indicator of where God is leading us. It's a harmonious blend of our deepest joys and the needs we see in the world around us. Guided by the hand of God, Recognizing God's guidance is a multifaceted process that involves staying spiritually attuned, patiently waiting on God's timing, 
utilizing our God-given talents, and also engaging with other believers as we navigate through life's journey. These aspects work together to help us discern and follow the path that God has laid out for us. Let us look at some biblical examples of God's guidance. The story of Joseph in Genesis is a compelling testament to the intricate and purposeful guidance of God. Joseph's life, marked by betrayal, injustice, and hardship, could easily be seen as a journey of misfortunes. Yet, through it all, Joseph remained steadfast in his faith, and God's guiding hand was evident. From being sold into slavery by his brothers to being wrongfully imprisoned in Egypt, Joseph endured, and God used these very experiences to prepare him for a greater destiny, becoming a ruler in Egypt, saving many from famine. Joseph's story, found in Genesis 37-50, to is a powerful reminder that God's guidance often unfolds in ways that we might not immediately understand. It teaches us that our current struggles or setbacks are not indicators of our final destination. God is at work in our lives, weaving together every experience, every challenge, and every triumph to fulfill His graceful and purposeful plan for us. Another profound example is the story of Moses, called by God from a burning bush. Moses was guided to lead the Israelites out of Egyptian bondage. This journey was filled with obstacles and challenges, yet at each turn, Moses followed God's guidance, and through him, God performed miraculous deeds. These stories from the Bible encourage us to trust in God's guidance, knowing that He is with us every step of the way, turning our trials into testimonies and our challenges into channels of His blessings and glory. And this is why we need to draw from God's strength. Drawing strength from God is a foundational aspect of our spiritual journey, especially in moments when our own strength seems insufficient. Philippians 4 verse 13 captures this beautifully. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This scriptural promise isn't about possessing an unending supply of physical energy or intellectual capability, but it speaks to a deep, more profound source of strength, a spiritual fortitude that comes directly from our relationship with God. This divine strength is what empowers us to face life's myriad challenges with courage and unwavering faith. It's a reminder that our abilities, when coupled with God's power, can carry us through any situation. This strength from God is particularly evident in times of trial and adversity. It's easy to feel strong when things are going well, but true spiritual strength is most visible in moments of weakness when we are faced with obstacles that seem insurmountable or when we are grappling with problems that appear unsolved. It's the strength that God provides that helps us to persevere. This strength allows us to remain steadfast in our beliefs even when they're tested and to exhibit grace and forgiveness in situations where it seems hardest to do so. It's a strength that doesn't just help us endure, but enables us to thrive, transforming our trials into testimonies of faith. Also, the strength we draw from God is not just for our personal benefit. It also equips us to be a source of support and encouragement to others. Just as Paul wrote in his letter to the Philippians, this strength is shared so we can bolster others in their times of need. When we lean on God's strength, we become conduits of His power, offering hope and resilience to those around us. Our ability to extend compassion, offer help, and speak words of encouragement is amplified by the strength we receive from God. In this way, our struggles and victories become shared experiences, creating a community of faith that is strong and supportive. In essence, drawing strength from God means recognizing our own limitations and willingly placing our trust in His infinite power. It's about acknowledging that while we may face difficulties and hardships, we are never alone in these challenges. The strength we draw from God is a wellspring of resilience flowing within us and enabling us to overcome any barrier. It's a testament to the unshakable support and enduring power that we have access to through our faith. As we continue to navigate the journey of life, let us do so with the assurance that the strength we need is always available to us, generously provided by a loving and powerful God. My dear friends, let us hold close the understanding that God is always with us. He is our guide through the darkest nights, our source of strength in the face of adversity, and our constant companion through every step of life's journey. Our exploration today affirms that God's presence, guidance, and strength are ever-present in our lives. They are the compass that directs us, the shield that protects us, and the light that illuminates our path. Even in moments when we might feel alone or uncertain, 
Let us remember that God's presence is as sure as the ground beneath our feet and the sky above our heads. His guidance is the map that helps us navigate through life's challenges, and His strength is the anchor that keeps us steady in turbulent seas. With this knowledge and faith, let us move forward, embracing each day with confidence and hope, knowing that God is always standing by us. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty and Everlasting God, I come before you with a heart full of praise and thanksgiving. You are the Creator of all, the Eternal King, and the source of all life. Your majesty and glory surpass all understanding. I praise you, Lord, for you are mighty, and your steadfast love endures forever. You are the unchanging light in our lives and the solid rock on which we stand. Lord, I thank you for your endless blessings, for the breath of life, and for your presence that surrounds me. Thank you for being my guide, my strength, and my protector. Thank you for your promises to strengthen me, help me, and uphold me with your righteous right hand. Father, I ask for your forgiveness for my sins. Cleanse me with your grace and guide me in the path of righteousness. I also forgive those who have wronged me, releasing any bitterness and embracing your peace and love. Lord, as I navigate through life, let me always feel your guiding presence, leading me along the right path. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare victory over every challenge I face. I rebuke any form of attack from the enemy. I bind every spirit of fear, doubt, anxiety, and confusion. I declare that I am more than a conqueror through Christ who strengthens me. I ask for your healing touch upon my life and the lives of my loved ones. Heal our bodies, minds, and spirits, and let your power manifest in our lives. Lord, I pray for your protection over us. Guard us from harm and shield us from the snares of the enemy. Lead us away from temptation. I pray for blessings upon our lives. Bless our homes, the work of our hands, and our relationships. I ask for your daily provision in our lives, trusting in your promise to meet all our needs according to your riches and glory. Grant us our daily bread and sustain us with your grace and abundance each day. Let your favor and grace follow us in all that we do. As I say this prayer together with everyone listening, Lord, I am grateful for every heart that is humbled before you right now. We come in agreement as we pray for each other, asking for your guidance, strength, and love to be evident in our lives. As we face life's challenges, help us to remember that you are always with us. Fill us with your Holy Spirit and let your light shine through us. Lord, we claim victory in your name. We speak life and health into every part of our being, trusting in your miraculous power to renew and heal. May every broken spirit be mended, every physical ailment be healed, and every troubled mind find peace in your loving embrace. We give thanks for your protection and guidance. Cover us with your grace and love. May your divine peace settle deep within us, calming our anxieties, soothing our fears, and providing a steadfast anchor in the midst of life's storms. Let your will be done in our lives and in the lives of our loved ones, as it is in heaven. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen. Have you ever felt the tranquility of early morning when the world is hushed? and the day brims with potential? This moment, so serene and pregnant with promise, resembles commencing our day with prayer. Just as the dawn's light begins to blanket the sky, dispelling darkness, initiating our day with God illuminates our path, guiding us through whatever lies ahead. Prioritizing prayer as the first action of our day isn't just about the words we utter. It's about forging a connection with our Creator. It's about offering our time, thoughts, and hearts to Him before anything else. Today, we delve into the significance of making prayer the inaugural act of our day, exploring how this simple yet profound practice can influence the course of our day, impact our mood, and shape our interactions with others. When we start our day with prayer, we declare to God, you are the most important part of my day. This act of prioritizing God sets the tone for everything that follows, affirming our faith and trust in Him. It's a practice that not only strengthens our faith, but also enriches our daily lives, infusing them with peace, joy, and purpose. Commencing each morning with conversation with God is more than just a ritual. It's a lifeline, anchoring our souls in the certainty of His love and promises. 
It establishes a precedent for the rest of the day, offering a perspective aligned with God's will and brimming with hope. Morning prayer isn't merely a routine. It's an act of faith, believing that God hears us, cares for us, and is actively involved in our lives. It's an expression of our dependence on Him, acknowledging that we need His wisdom and strength to navigate the day. Moreover, starting our day with God empowers us to embody the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These qualities become more evident in our lives when we spend time with God each morning, enriching our relationships and allowing us to become vessels of His love. Morning prayer equips us with wisdom for the day's decisions, guiding us in both major choices and everyday matters. It sets a rhythm of communion with God that can continue throughout the day, transforming ordinary moments into opportunities to experience His presence and work in our lives. The practice of starting our day with God through prayer is a journey of faith, trust, and surrender. It promises not just a good day, but a God-centered life, rich in peace, purpose, and joy. Let's commit to making prayer the first action of our day, inviting God's presence into every moment and allowing His will to shape our lives. Morning prayer reminds us that true peace is found in the presence of God. Let us, therefore, cherish these early moments with God, allowing His peace to fill us and flow through us. May it be a guiding light throughout our day, a reminder of God's constant presence and unwavering love. In doing so, we not only enrich our own lives, but also extend this peace to those around us, creating ripples of God's love in a world in desperate need of His peace. Embarking on each new day with morning prayer not only immerses us in peace, but also fortifies us with a strength that is not our own. This strength, bestowed upon us by the Almighty, is a testament to the power that lies in beginning our day rooted in divine communion. It is a strength that surpasses physical capabilities, nurturing our inner resilience and empowering us to face life's challenges with courage and determination. This divine strength is a promise from God to those who seek Him, as vividly captured in Isaiah 40 verse 31. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Morning prayer is our act of waiting on the Lord, of dedicating the first fruits of our day to Him. And in return, He renews our strength, equipping us to soar above the trials and tribulations of life. The strength we gain from starting our day in God's presence goes beyond mere endurance. It transforms our perspective on adversity. Challenges become opportunities to witness God's power at work in our lives, trials become platforms for His grace to be displayed, and weaknesses become conduits for His strength to be perfected. This strength enables us to persevere with joy, knowing that our victory is secured in Christ. Furthermore, the strength derived from morning prayer infuses our faith with vitality. It anchors us in the truth of God's word and promises, fortifying our trust in Him. In moments of doubt or fear, the remembrance of our morning encounters with God serves as a beacon of hope, reminding us of His faithfulness and the unshakable foundation upon which our lives are built. Also, the strength we receive from morning prayer prepares us for spiritual warfare. Armed with the full armor of God, we can stand against the schemes of the enemy, secure in the knowledge that the battle belongs to the Lord. Our morning prayers act as a declaration of our dependence on God, activating His power and protection over our lives. In essence, the strength gained from our daily communion with God is multifaceted, touching every area of our lives. It is a strength that does not boast in its own might, but in the power of the One who promises to be our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. As we continue to prioritize morning prayer, let us do so with the expectation of being filled anew with God's indomitable strength, ready to face whatever the day may hold with confidence and grace. In the scriptures, we find compelling stories of individuals whose lives were profoundly shaped by their commitment to putting prayer first. These biblical characters offer us timeless examples of how starting the day with God can lead to divine guidance, protection, and empowerment in fulfilling God's purposes. Their stories encourage us to make prayer the first action of our day, trusting that like them, we will experience God's guidance, protection, and empowerment to fulfill our divine calling. As we follow in their footsteps, let us remember that our prayers, whether in times of joy, uncertainty, or distress, 
are always heard by a God who is intimately involved in the details of our lives. Let us first seek God in prayer, laying the foundation of our journey in His presence. This divine attentiveness assures us of His unwavering support and guidance. It beckons us to approach Him with confidence, knowing that each prayer plants the seeds for miracles yet unseen. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, I come before you in awe of your majesty and grace. You are the creator of the heavens and the earth, the King of kings and Lord of lords. Your power is infinite, your wisdom beyond understanding, and your love for us everlasting. You are worthy of all honor, all glory, and all praise. I thank you, Lord, for the gift of life and for your mercies that are new every morning. We are thankful for this new day, a fresh opportunity to experience your love, to walk in your ways, and to reflect your light to those around us. Thank you for your faithfulness and for your unfailing love that surrounds me and my loved ones. Lord, I am grateful for your daily provisions and blessings. In your presence, there is fullness of joy, and at your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Merciful Father, I acknowledge my sins before you and ask for your forgiveness. I also choose to forgive those who have trespassed against me, releasing any bitterness or resentment, for you have called us to live in freedom and peace. Lord, I come to you seeking to start each day in your presence, to lay the foundation of my day upon your word and prayer. Help me to seek you first, trusting that all I need will be added unto me, as you have promised. I ask that you would guide my steps, direct my paths, and fill me with your wisdom. In the name of Jesus, I declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I rebuke and bind every plan of the enemy to disrupt my peace, steal my joy, or derail my purpose. In the name of Jesus, I bind every spirit of confusion, fear, worry, anxiety, and discouragement. Father, I ask for your protection over me and my loved ones. Shield us from the attacks of the enemy and surround us with your angels. I ask for your healing hand upon us, believing for restoration and strength in our bodies. Lord, bless us in our coming and going, and let your blessings and favor rest upon us as we walk through this day. Let us be vessels of your love and grace to others. As I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We come in agreement as we pray for each other, asking for your Holy Spirit to fill us afresh, to empower us to live lives that glorify you. Guide us, Lord, in your wisdom. Protect us in your strength. Heal us in your mercy and bless us with your abundance. We claim victory over every challenge, declare healing over every illness, and give thanks for your provision and protection. Let your kingdom come and let your will be done on earth and in our lives as it is in heaven. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forevermore. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Now, for those who are listening and you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I urge you to receive God's grace with an open and repentant heart. Start where you are. Your past doesn't matter. Jesus came to seek and to save those who are lost. God loves you. It is not God's will that anyone should perish, but for all to come to repentance. Say this simple salvation prayer for yourself. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner, and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, hear my prayer. I pray, thank you, Lord, for saving me. Amen. Now that you have prayed this prayer, you can ask a pastor to baptize you at a local church and make that decision public. Baptism is a symbol of that decision to follow Jesus. Then, I encourage you to have fellowship with other believers, to learn more about your new life, and to get to know more about God. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comments section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory. Also, we invite other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world to join us and start praying for you right now. And we want you to know that even if you don't see a reply to your prayer request, it doesn't mean that you were not prayed for. Rest assured that we are actively lifting up each request to God that is in accordance with His will. 
We believe in the power of prayer to bring comfort, healing, and guidance in accordance with God's perfect plan. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.